Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about perk defense, how to play it as black and which are some of the main systems white can try against perk. So e4, d6, d4, knight f6 attacking the central pawn, knight c3 and g6. Here we are in perk defense. At this point white can try three main and most popular systems and we're going to see how to play against uh, the three of them, the main ideas at least. About perk, we need to say that it's a modern opening, the idea is that we are not controlling the center directly with pawns, but we are planning to do it very soon, once we develop some pieces, probably in the middle game, we are going to do that. Also, we are actually controlling the center with pieces, like the knight and the bishop will be controlling central squares, and also the pawn on the six is actually controlling e5, so uh, it's still fine uh, with the principles, I mean. So white can try three main systems. Let's talk about a four. This is what we call Austrian attack. It looks very aggressive. They are controlling many squares, but well, this is somewhat part of the plan because uh, in perk we are wanting white to expand more than they should, and then we can take advantage of the weaknesses they are creating. So f4, we just play here bishop g7, and then after knight f3, we can just castle. And uh, after bishop d3, we continue with knight c6. At some point, they might try and advance in the center. We can just trade and then play knight h5. In this position, uh, white is going to be slightly better. But one of the main ideas is that we will have a very serious pressure on white's center. So they have the center, but they will need to defend it uh, a lot. And it's not going to be easy. And it's going to be very annoying that that pressure that we are going to put on on white center. For example, right now we are taking the pawn. They should play bishop e3, but we can continue with more pressure, like bishop g4, attacking one of the defenders. So that's the idea in this Austrian attack. White a little better, but they need to defend the center uh, very carefully. The other line they can try is like uh, bishop e3, and this is what they call. 150 attack. The idea is that they want to play queen d2, bishop a6, they want to play f3, defending the center, but also expanding with g4, h5. It's a very interesting attack, but we're going to be fine if we play the right ideas. Here, uh, we can just play c6. This is a very common move in perk. The idea is that we're controlling the center, but the main idea probably is that we want to expand on the queen side. In perk, very often we are either reacting in the center or on the queen side. Those are the main ideas for for black in these positions. So after c6, white can try queen d2, then we continue with our plan, b5. They need to defend the center with f3 as we are threatening b4, attacking the knight, and then the center could be unprotected. So f3 is fine for white here. We can play knight bd7. They can start uh, the attack with uh, g4. There is a very nice path for our knight d7, b6, and probably going to c4 at some point. Also controlling the squares from b6 on the queen side, which is going to be perfect. So we play here knight b6, and well, uh, they could try like h4. This position is going to be very interesting, very dynamic. We have some options at this point. For example, we can play h5, trying to stop or delay the the attack by white. As I was saying, the position is very complicated. In general, white is a slightly better, but uh, it's a very unclear position in general. Your main line or scam white can play is going to be the classical system and uh, this happens when they play knight f3 it's a more traditional development where they just develop the knight and they develop the bishop after knight f3 in classical system we play bishop g7 and main line here is going to be bishop e2 observe that uh, bishop c4 is a very logical move especially among beginners i think uh, we can see it very often because it, it makes a lot of sense much more active the bishop, but it's, it's not the most popular, I mean, it's not the best move for white. The problem is that the bishop is going to be exposed and very often we can play moves like knight e4 and d5. So for example, here we can just castle and once white does the same, we can play knight takes e4. That is that we are destroying white's center and in general white can get something, uh, I mean, black can get something close to equal in the middle game. So for example, after knight takes e4, we can play d5, bishop d3, we take, they take back. And for example, knight d7, this position is almost equal. As you can see, white's center was destroyed and 
it's a very normal mid game position here. So that's why bishop e2 is going to be main line. Here we can just castle. Uh, black can do the same thing. And at this point, basically any move is good for black. We can try c6, we can try c5. e5 is also a move. a6 wanting to expand is also a very common variation. Um, knight c6 is also a move here. So yeah, we can just play like e5. In general, in this position, white is going to be slightly better, but uh, as always, very playable, very interesting, and very dynamic in this position or in this middle game for black. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to see another video with much more information about perk, with typical tactics, examples by top masters, middle game plans, check out this interesting video over here. I'm sure you will enjoy it and it will help you a lot. Thank you so much, guys. Like, subscribe. See you on the next.